kwa tupigie Yesu makofi haleluya the lord is here bwana yuko hapa and he shall bless us na atubariki wageni wetu karibu mtabarikiwa uh, most of us came here as visitors wengine wetu walikuja hapa kama wageni and because they were blessed maana walibarikiwa they remained here basi wakadumu hapa you will remain here because you will be blessed utabaki hapa maana utabarikiwa sema amen amen last sunday jumapili iliyopita we were talking about the lifter of man tunena juu ya ainuaye wanadamu balance this voice because it is higher than mine uh, it's always good to, to balance I request that we be sensitive and the Lord will bless us. Um, the lifter of man. I knew I am one Adam. God is the one who lifts man. Mungu ndiye hainai nua wanadamu. Are we realizing that he puts it down one? Tukoelewa kwanza na shusha mmoja. And he puts another one up. Na anapandisha mwingine. And we say he will choose us. Tukasema atachagua sisi. And that is our prayer. Na hiyo ndio ombi letu. That he may make a choice. Kwamba afanye uamuzi. To lift us. Kutua kutuinua. We talk about in the process of lifting. Na juu ya katika safari ya kuinuliwa. And we say number one. Nasema jambo la kwanza. That the Lord qualifies. Not that they are qualified. Si kwa sababu wameiti. Some people like Paul. Watu wengi kama Paulo some people like Paul wameitimu they are of the people who used to praise God watu ambao walikuwa wanapenda Mungu only five they that he calls maana Mungu waitimisha wale ambao some waitim. people like Gideon watu wengine kama Gideon were not Mungu alipowaitimua wale wa dhaifu to a shame they that thing are strong kuaibisha ndio Mungu anataka he wants to perfect nataka kukamilisha he called his disciples and he told them na akawaambia come john and he makes them na anawafanya he calls people anaita watu and he takes them through a process and i'll bless you kutoka haleluya okay wana mfuzi wengine and i will go back nitarudi but when jesus came yesu alipokuja he restored him and it was Peter na alikuwa ni Petro who was believed the other disciples kana ngozo wanafuzi wale wengine who was a backslider na alikuwa anarudi nyuma Jesus Yesu is in the process of making us katika safari ya kutufa let no god mock me mtu asinidharau god is making me mungu ananitengeneza ninao mkono wangu sema ninatengenezwa ninatengenezwa ambia ambia inua sauti yako sema ninatengenezwa ninatengenezwa pigia yesu makofi mazuri haleluya god qualifies them mungu huwaitimisha we say in the process of being lifted lazima katika safari ya kutengenezwa you need to be patient naimba uwe mvumilivu and you need uweze kungojea na kuvumilia yes there is need of patience kuna haja ya kuvumilia you don't lack patience Usikose uvumilia. Everybody will celebrate. In the name of Jesus. Now we continue with number 3. Tunaendelea na nambari ya 3. Thank you Father. Asante bwana. And I will combine number 3 and the number 4. Nitaunganisha nambari ya 3 na ya 4. I will be blessed. Na tutabarikiwa. In the process of liberty katika safari ya kutengenezwa we need to trust in god tunahitaji kumtumainia mungu to trust in god tumtumainie mungu we need to put our trust in god tuweke tumaini yetu kwa mungu na na number 4 na ya ine, we need to have faith in god tuwe na imani ndani ya mungu when we are the process of being lifted kwa katika safari ya kuinuliwa there is need kuna haja that we put our trust in Weke God. Tumaini yetu kwa Mungu. That we have our faith in God. Na imani yetu pia kwa Mungu. Why? Kwa nini? There are things that come to shake us. Kuna mambo huja kututikiza. That come to fight us. Inakuja kupigana nasi. They come to stop us. Na kuja kutusimamisha. They come as a 
resistance and they are beyond our ability and they are beyond human nature they are beyond human knowledge there we need to trust in God for the success of our lives in the process of lifting we need to trust in God put our trust in God we talked about David when he was anointed as king he still went back to the wilderness we could expect like humans immediately he is anointed he gets protection of soldiers he gets convoy of protection he starts eating good food the delicacies of the king but the king of Israel he went back to the field listen to me we cannot judge you because you are in the field even when, when, even when you are in the field Look after the sheep. When the people look at you, they will see a shepherd. They will see a young boy. They will see a man who is useless. But inside you, there is the seed of greatness. Inside you, there is the anointing of God. We cannot judge you because you are in the wilderness. The king in you, the king in you, will soon manifest. And I came to speak to somebody who thinks he is in the wilderness, who thinks he is taking care of sheep, who thinks it is over, provided you are a son of God. I came to tell you that the king in you will soon manifest. I say the king in you will soon manifest continue trust in God I see David when the bears came when the lion came to destroy and kill the flock he trusted God he trusted God he trusted God and he went for the lion and he went for the lion and he trusted and he destroyed the lion he took the lamb and he rescued the lamb he took the bear he trusted God he was being prepared to meet Goliath and can I tell you one thing Goliath is not meant to put you down Goliath is meant to take you to the kingdom Goliath is not meant to bring you down any challenge that you see it is beyond your ability it is not meant to put you down it is not meant to kill you it is meant to lift you if there was no Goliath the king should not have known David I say if there was no Goliath the battle could have continued normally but every other person when Goliath appeared they retreated they went back but when David came they anointed him the king in him could not allow shame in the life of people of Israel he said although I am young I am not qualified to be in the army of Israel I know I have God I have trusted God I have trusted God I have believed in a God who knows no defeat I have believed in a God who has never been defeated listen to me the God we trust in the God that we have had a shame so I can tell you confidently that you will not suffer shame you will not be defeated ah, listen to me David when he saw Goliath it was an opportunity when I see a challenge in my life it is an opportunity it is an opportunity challenges are not meant to kill us
Zaburi 27 Whom shall I be afraid? Bwana ni ngome ya uzima wangu ni muhofu nani? Every witch kila Every wizard kila mganga Everyone against your lift May they fall Bwana akanikaribisha kwake Hey yo ime interpret vizuri Just interpret now this one When my father and my mother forsake me. Baba yangu na mama yangu waliponiacha. No, forsake means uh, is it past tense? Forsook, forsake, wakiniacha. Kila mtu akikuacha, I came to tell you there is a law. Nilikuambia kuna yeye bwana. Who cannot forsake you? Yeye hawezi kukuacha. Who cannot leave you? Hawezi kukuacha. The Lord. Bwana. Will always be with you. Listen to me child of God. We can trust in God. Because your father can leave you. Your mother can leave you. Your brothers can leave you. Your children can leave you. Your wife and your husband can leave you. But we stick closer than a brother. I came to tell you child of God. Zidi kumwamini. Keep looking unto God. Zidi kumtanzamia Mungu. He will never forsake you. No kuacha. No system 13 moving from one cave to another. Anatoka pango kwenda pango. Saul and his army are looking for him. Saul na majeshi wanafuta ndio waweza kumuua. In verses 10 he says. Mstari wa 10. Verses 13. Is it 10? Let me see. Zero 10. 13. 13. 13. He says I will lose all strength. Anaisha nguvu. Lose all hope. Anaisha tumaini. His ability is not able to help him. Atatama. Unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Kama sike mtumainia kuona wema wa Bwana katika inji ya walio hai. Let me tell you child of God. Nikwambia mwana wa Mungu, we will see the goodness of the Lord in this land. Tutaona wema wa Bwana kwa hii inji. I'm not talking about heaven. Siongei juu ya mbinguni. In heaven we do not talk about land. Mbinguni hakuna inji. Amen. Amen. It is not land there. Hakuna inji huko. Amen. Amen. We are talking about here. Na juu ya hapa. We will see the goodness of the Lord. Tunaona wema wa Bwana. Inua mkono wako sema nitaona wema wa Bwana. Nitaona wema wa Bwana. Inua mkono na ujitabirie. Sema nitaona wema wa Bwana. Nitaona wema wa Bwana. Nitaona wema wa Bwana. Nitaona wema wa Bwana. David says I would have lost heart. Ningekata tamaa unless I had believed. Kama sikuwa nimeamini. Sometimes you would see Sometimes you may not see it now. Njua labda uwezi kuona saa hizi. You may not see it now. Labda hauyoni. But he believed. Lakini aliamini. Believing is not the thing you have. Kuamini si ile uko nayo. Hiyo nguo uko nayo uamini bwana kuipata. Si ni ukweli? Saa hii Jessica uko na bwana, uamini bwana kuamini bwana kupata bwana. Si ndio? Unaamini kutunza. Amen. Gala na ume utunzwa. Amen. Amen. But to me you don't believe God to get specs. Already you have them. Amen. So kile uko nacho you don't believe God for. Auamini Mungu kwa ile uko nayo. So David believed to be nuru ya ilgo. Katika vyombo vya udongo ili adhama kuu ya uwezo iwe ya Mungu. Eh. Uh -huh. Wala si kutoka kwetu. Listen what Paul says. Paul anasema nini? He is it is he says that it nae katika What does this mean? Ina maanisha nini? When we were in darkness. Nilipokuwa ngizani. We were not saved. Atuko tumekuwa. We were living the lifestyle of sin. Tulishi maisha ya dhambi. It is the Lord who commanded life. Bwana aliamrisha nini? It is the Lord who saved you. Bwana aliyekuokoa. It was not by your power. Haikuwa kwa uwezo wako. That you got saved. Kwamba uliokoa. It is God. Ni Bwana. Commanded light to come your way, and they knew you. Verse seven. That was seven. It is the Lord who saved you. When I leave you, Oko. You bring me Oko. Hallelujah. Seven is born. I leave you, Oko. You born. I leave you, Oko. In Amjua. In Amjua. New us. Now I leave you, us. Even before He saved us. Kabla leave you. Verse seven. Do not have honor. He could have chosen gold. He could have chosen silver. To put his treasure. But the Bible says. But we have this treasure. We are not this. Come on, Andika. 
Hallelujah. We are the display. Sisi ndio tuna advertise. Yaani nikitokea hiyo I'm on display your power of God. Be why? Because I am weak without God. Maana mimi ni mdhaifu bila Mungu. I am no importance without God. Sina umuhimu bila Mungu. Me minus God I am useless. Mimi bila Mungu of the power of God. Ya uwezo wa nguvu ya Mungu. That is what God even ndio Mungu when he looks at you. Akikutanza tumbaya tume tumeundwa kwa undogo. Made from clay. Nataka kwa undogo. Why? So that the excellence of power dio uwezo wa nguvu when we are lifted tunapoinulia when we shine in our life tukingaa maisha faim wamtukuze yeye listen to me sikize today leo you may not look like that excellence of power au kama huo uzuri wanazama wale wa they looked like they are prosperous walikani kama wataendelea they looked like they are better than wazuri kuliko yeye and he went to the sanctuary alipenda katika hekalu and they knew they are end na akajua mwisho wao You may look at the people of the earth. But they are end. Lakini mwisho wao is destruction. Ni uharibifu. They are end. Mwisho wao is not prosperous. See, I, but I, I, we. Lakini sisi. Ah, can we read verse 8? Msari wa process of belief. Kwa katika safari ya kuinolewa. Can we read verse 8 together? Msari wa 1 2 Pick up. Read in Swahili. Pande zote twathikika. Twathikika. Bali atusongi bali atusongi tunaona shaka depressed tunasongwa pande zote on every side kila pande we don't look like we are prospering anakuwa kama tunaendelea we are pressed in both side pande moja they are not crushed at atu atusongwi we are not crushed atusongwi we are not crushed atusongwi i came to tell you ni kwa kuambia what you may go be going through ile unapitia is that to crush you Sia to me Isikize. there is excellence of power kuna uwezo wa that god want you to display there is excellence of power kuna uwezo wa mtaka sori ya kuinda still prosper why why kwa nini god is our light mungu ni nuru yetu bana fasini says persecute but not for second struck down but not destroy twaudhiwa mbali atuachi Twatupa chini mbali atuangamizwi. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hallelujah. In the process of lifting. Katika safari ya kuinuliwa, there shall be some persecution. Kutakuwa na kuudhiwa. I manish umeachwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be for second. Unaweza kuwa umeachwa. No, you may be persecuted. Unaweza kuwa umeteswa. You may be persecuted on the process. Umetezwa katika safari. Sometimes you may lack some finances. Unaweza kosa pesa. Siku moja Eh unaona anga tumevaa viatu acha tuvae. Chana na sisi tuvae. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Eh achana na sisi tuvae. Pengine hata wewe huko niona. Kiatu nilivaa nikiwa class 6. Class 6. Ndio tumevaa kiatu. Miguu ilikuwa itoshe hivi hatu mpaka unapima. Sijui kama moyo wangu mtu amewahi nda hapa kupima kiatu. Unaendanga soko miguu inatoshea. Miguu ilikuwa imekaa hivi. Ilibidi process ili rejeshwe. process my friend safari ile rejesho wacha tuvae viatu tulionekana kama tumetupa mbao my friend siku moja mama kwa kijiji akauliza mama yangu akamuuliza uwezi nunua viatu uwezi nunua viatu na unajua kwa sasa hiyo alikuwa amebeba pesa ngapi in enzi hizo alikuwa amebeba 23000 kwa mfuko akiulizwa hivyo lakini angeguza shilingi moja because alikuwa ameenda kulipia my sister fees tumutumu college ya nasi na alikuwa hata hajui kutuma anapelekea mtu atume mama mama ambaye hata hajasomesha watoto wake anamuuliza si ungenunua kiatu mama yangu anamwangalia tu naona wewe utajua unajua anga hiyo msemo ya vijana utajua ujui utajua ujui sometimes you may be seen as if you are be crushed unaweza nikana kama unamalizwa it is as if you have you have been forsaken kama umeachwa it people may look like it uh, uh, may, may look like uh, at you and think that you have no direction nadhani ni kama ni kwamba huna mwelekeo wa maisha unateseka the bible says we are persecuted but we are not forsaken tunateswa lakini hatuachwi you are not forsaken aunjaachwa the lord is with you mwana kwa pamoja nawe the lord is with you mwana kwa pamoja nawe biblia imesema that 
your parents your your daddy and your mom can forsake you. mama na baba wanaweza kukuacha your friend can forsake marafiki wanaweza kukuacha but the lord lakini bwana kila mtu sema but the lord but the lord sema but the lord but the lord will never forsake me will never forsake the bible says i am persecuted we are persecuted tena sema tunateswa but we are not forsaken lakini hatuachwi bwana acha tuacha unajua joseph akiwa kwa ile shimo angeona huyu Mungu ni kama alimuona. Sifa akiwa katika shimo. Akiwa akiwa akishikwa na yule mke wa Potifa, akiambiwa kama mzee uko uko una nikikuona ninasikia kutetemeka. Akakushikwa na mke wa Potifa angeona huyu Mungu kwani yako wapi. Akatupa ngerezani, angefikiria kwani huyu Mungu ameniacha kwa wapi. But the Lord had not forsaken. Bwana hakuwa amemwacha. I came to tell you the Lord has not forsaken. Nikwambia Bwana hajakuacha. The Lord is still with you. Bwana yuko pamoja nami. The Lord is with me. Bwana yuko pamoja nami. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. In the process of lifting. Katika safari ya kuinuliwa. We are persecuted. Tunateswa. But we are not forsaken. Na tuachwi. We need just to trust in the Lord. Hapana tumwamini Mungu. Can we read the next verse? Sorry your next. Verse 10. Always carry about in the body the die of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. Let us go to verse 16. Kumina sita. Verse 16. What does this say? Can we read together 1 2 3? Therefore, Therefore can you read now properly 1 2 3? Kwa hivyo atulengei. Inua mkono sema silengei. Silengei. Unajua silengei ni mwenye jina ya Kimasai. Sijui kama nimeenda huko. Silengei. Waza atutalegea. Atutalegea we don't lose heart. Amen. Amen. Hata kazi uchumi unajua nilikuwa nilikuwa naongea na mzee mwingine njana akaniambia hii uchumi imekuwa shida. Hata nikakutana na mchungaji nikitoka hapa morning devotion leo nikakutana na mchungaji mwingine akaniambia hii serikali itatumaliza ni mchungaji akasema hii serikali itatumaliza nilisimamisha gari nikateremsha keyo kidogo nikamsalimia alikuwa anatoka morning devotion kama mimi na watu wengine <laughs> alikuwa tulikuwa tunatoka morning devotion yeye kwa kanisa yake na mimi hapa nilikuwa hapa by 430 so <laughs> tukitoka nikateremsha keyo nikamsalimia kitu ya kwanza akaniambia mchungaji unaendelea hii nikamwambia ni kwa sawa akaniambia hii serikali inatumaliza <laughs> Upaka wachungaji siku hizi wamelia. Wanalia my friend. Na hao ndio wanatuambia to trust in the Lord. Trust on the Lord. Lakini anasema watu wanatuua. <laughs> eh, hey, hata mtoto kama ni wa hii dunia analipishwa kuchukua kitambulisho. Na ulizaliwa ulizaliwa na wewe ni wa hapa. Pesa imepandishwa. My friend. Aka pasi za mpaka akasema hii serikali inatumaliza nikasikia nikasikia hapo kwa moyo moyo nimesema haitatumaliza hapo kwa moyo nikasikia haitatumaliza nikamwambia Mungu akubariki pastor nikapandisha kio haraka kabla hajaweka sumu katika maisha yangu Bwana Yesu apewe sifa nikamwambia mkuu na ibada nzuri akienda kusema kanisani itawamaliza nimekuja kuambia atutaisha amen hata uchumi ende wapi tutakula na tutavaa kwa sababu the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not suffer any want. Sitakosa kitu. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Hiyo imekuja mpaka Eric akakuna kichwa. Akasema hii na vile vile sukari ninapanga sasa nimeanza kuamua kukata chai kwa budget. Hey. The Bible says therefore. Basi therefore basi we do not lose hatulengei even though our outward man ijapokuwa utu wetu wa nje unachakaa although our outward man utu wetu wa nje unachakaa yet the inward man lakini utu wetu wa ndani is be renewed unafanywa upya watu ambao wanatumainia bwana mhm hata kama utu wa nje unachakaa unaonekana nikana kwamba auto boy mtu wa ndani anatiwa nguvu unajua niko na Yesu unajua niko na Bwana unajua Bwana hata niacha 
Unajua maandiko yamesema alali wala asinsi. Anayetuangalia uko na nguvu mtu wako andani kwa sababu gani? Unajua hata kama mambo yanaonekana si sawa kwa imani, watu wa imani wanaishi kwa imani. We live by faith. Tunaishi kwa imani. We live by faith. Tunaishi kwa imani. Sema amen. Amen. Let me tell you. Nikwambie kitu. I looked this morning I was reading about John the Baptist. Kuna nasoma juu ya Yohana Mbatizaji. John the Baptist as I finish. Napomalizia. Let me show you something. Kuonyesha kitu. You know have, it is easy to say have faith. Ndio ni rahisi ya kusema kuwa na imani. And it is another thing to have faith. Na ni jambo jingine kuwa nayo. Niangalia vizuri. It is one thing to Nicha, say ni jambo moja I have faith. Kusema niko na imani. Na tunajuanga hata kwa nyumba zetu wale wameoa. Ni rahisi kuwa na imani na kuomba wakati kuna chakula kwa meza. Lakini kama bado mnaomba kama hakuna chakula, unajua mko na imani. Kama bibi yako bado anakupenda na hakuna chakula kwa meza, unajua bibi yako ako na imani. Eh? Niangalie hivyo kama umeoa nipungie mkono e, e, Sema amen. Amen. Eh? Yeah. Mabibi mko sawa? Wale mmeoa na wale mtaolewa? Nipungie mkono wa Yohana. Kama uko bibi na umeolewa nipungie mkono wa Yohana. Angalia mke wako anakukataa. Lakini bwana hata niacha. <laughs> Because kama anasema haja olewa na wewe unasemanga ni mume wako. Sasa hapo kuna shida. Kama umeolewa na uko hapa, nipungie mkono wa Yohana kuna kamera to record. Wacha niwaambi It is one thing to say I have faith. Jambo ya kusema niko na imani. And it is another thing to have the faith. Jambo jingine kuwa na hiyo imani. John even opens. Mbingu ikafunguka. And the Holy Spirit comes. Roho akashuka. And he says this is my beloved son. Huyu ndiye mwana mpenda. Whom I am pleased with. Mbaye ni mpenda. God announces the Jordan. Kuna mwingine. Akamwambia ndio mko ni vaa. Na yeye ndiye alikuwa anasoma wakati walifika. Hao mitume wakaambia Yesu Yesu tumekuja kukonfirm kama ni wewe. Wewe ndiye masia uliokuwa unaondoka. Uh, 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 wale walikuwa vipovu wakaona. Akawaambia mnaona, nendeni muwaambie. Vipovu wanaona, viwete wanatembea, watu wanaokolewa. Nendeni muwaambie. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hataki kusema ni yeye ni nani, anataka kuonyesha. Eh hey, my good friend, unajua ministry ikiwa hivyo iko tamu, akawaambia kaeni hapo. Mnataka kujua kama niko na power. I want to demonstrate power. <laughs> Akasema power sasa. Akasema pona. Akasema viwete na leo kuna power. Oh, uh, power toka. Viwete maandiko yanasema mapepo yakaondoka. <laughs> Gospel is about power. Injili ni juu ya nguvu. Yesu aka demonstrate. Hmm. Yesu hakuwa anataka kusema ni Yesu. Alikuwa tu matendo yanasema ni Yesu. Wakawaambia nendeni mumwambie. Wacha niwaambie. Due to problems was ready a persecution na mateso john the baptist was almost forget whether he doubted akamshuku sana because of problem alipe shida na mateso na kuombea i pray for you na kuombea that even when they come wanapo yana will still trust in jesus possible to then 11 moses then sema haiwezekani kumpendeza mungu bila imani haiwezekani mhm why kwa nini? Because he who comes to him anjaye kwake must believe he is there. Lazima aamini kwamba yeye yupo. Watu wengine wanasemanga he is there but they don't know. John the Baptist alikuwa amemuona na macho. Lakini aka doubt akasema huyu ni kama si yeye. Ma keep trying. Sikare tamaa. You are more knowledgeable. Uko na akili nyingi sasa. Who, the person did not start. Kuliko ambaye hakuanza. Another one. Anza ingine. Keep trying. Kasvari ya kuinuliwa. We need to trust and have faith in God. Muamini na tuwe na imani kwa Mungu. Tengeneza njia. Anatengeneza njia kwa njili yangu. Najua Bwana. Najua. Hallelujah. Pokea Yesu. Pokea Yesu. Pokea Yesu. Kibia bele kama unataka kuokoka. Inuwa tena mtu mikono. Bwana na wapenda. Bwana na mafuta na upako. 
upon their lives in the name of Jesus I peace of God that teaches men to receive that grace power of God power of God power of God touch your life be free from every power of darkness be free from every power of darkness be free from every power I release that anointing I release that anointing be free completely actually I'm a shake yes in the name of Jesus yes rakatatata yes zika yando roboza yes yekete bazaka yes in the name of Jesus receive them I destroy them to death in the name of Jesus receive that anointing ime achilia moto ju yako yes ime achilia moto ju yako yes kila kazi yote ya adui we thank you and we honor you in Jesus name we pray amen amen salimia God bless you sasa umeo you are a son and daughter. Well, you are a man. daughter of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this sister. Every operation of the enemy upon our life, I cancel. Every work of the enemy upon our life, I cancel it. And I ask for power and a grace to set her completely free. I get into the spiritual realm against her life and I declare her release from the powers of darkness. Receive that grace. Receive that grace yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is over. Imeisha. You are here and you are sick. Hallelujah. Just come here. Run here if you are sick. Just run here. I want to pray very fast. If you are sick, just come. I will pray for you. You know what to do? Hallelujah. Father in Jesus name The Bible says I will lay hands on the sick Declare the name of Jesus That every sickness Demonic powers Outers of sickness Powers of darkness Initiation throughout us I destroy by power I destroy by anointing And I declare your freedom is now In the name of Jesus Be free Lose a life You will not die You will not die You will not die You will not die Every sickness Which can have the powers of darkness Yes Yes In the name of Jesus I command you to lose her Build 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 the name of Jesus. Yes. Atilia Mashake. Yes. Nime Atilia Moto. Moto. Nime Atilia. Yes. Fire of God. Yes. Every powers of darkness. I destroy your powers. Naharibu nguvu zako. And I declare freedom now. Naza uru sasa. Be free. Kuwa uru. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Pige Yesu makofi mazu. Hallelujah. Inu watu mikono yako ni kuwambe. Tunapo malizia. Inu watu mikono ni kuwambe mali ulipo. Kama umeketi na umba usimame. Ninasema hivi kama ukona itaji lolote. Na unataka. Nataka kuomba maombi ukiwa maali ulipo. Unaambia buwana leo ingilia hili jambo. Inu watu mkono ni kuombe. Ukona itaji na unaambia buwana ingilia hili jambo. Inu watu mkono. Baba watoto wako mekuindulia mkono. Yes. Yes. Kwa ishara ya ima Yes Ya kwamba utasikia leo Yes Na utawatembelea Yes Na utaponya mioyo yao Yes Kwa kujibu maombi yao Yes Wewe ujibuye maombi Yes Naombea awa watu Yes Ukajibu haya maombi Yes Na ukajibu Kwa kuwatembelea Na kuwatendea Yes I declare like early In the house That God 
and receive your miracle. Go and receive the petition of your prayer. 